Jacob and I. Today I'd like to show you how to set up your PCB hotbed for your 3D printer. But first, I'd like to say, Oho, Ediku, Alevere, A, Ostani, Komorani, Va, Cheska, Napomata. And now let's get started. <laughs> Your PCB heat bed with some high temperature wire attached to it with high temperature sauna. Um, and you're also going to need a piece of glass that is the same size as your heat bed. And you can get that at your local home center or we're just going to cut it off. You, are, you also will need scissors, captain tape some M3 nuts and M3 by 12 nuts and screws and a screwdriver. Now let's cut some glass. These are some of the materials you're gonna need for cutting glass. You're gonna need some glass, obviously. Um, we got this glass from some old certificates that, were for, that was framed. Um, a glass cutting tool. This is a diamond cutter and you can also use a wheel cutter. Um, you need a permanent marker to mark where you're going to cut. Some oil for the cutter. Some glass cleaner. You're also going to need um, a paper towel or two to comfort the glass before you cut it. So that when you break it, the, the glass won't come flying off at you. Um, you're going to need some sandpaper to sand down the edges of the glass after it's cut. You're going to need a straight edge to make sure your score is straight. You're also going to need, well, we put some electrical tape on the bottom of the straight edge to make it stick better. Um, you're also going to need a big block of wood to break the glass on and we're cutting glass so we're going to be safe so we're going to put on some safety glasses the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of glass be careful of the corners and edges to show um, and you want to make sure we're dealing with clean glass. So you take your glass cleaner and then you just do a quick little spray. And then use one of your paper towels to clean that up. Clean both sides as best you can. going to take the heat bed and put it on your glass on picture frame um, certificate glass works really well because it's exactly the right width. And then just mark two little marks on either side on the end. Make sure it's precise like that. Now the diamond is only three millimeters from this edge. So we need to put another mark three millimeters toward the middle of the glass on either side.
want a thin hair-like skull that slots at one end and goes all the way to the other. Run the skull line up right over the edge of the wood so that we'll, so that you can see the skull line exactly on the very edge of that wood. And then put the paper towel on. This is the breaking part. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. Hold the glass in place with one hand. Check to make sure it's still lined up. And then put your um your straight edge over put your straight edge over the overhang on the glass and then do one nice thing and that should break it. Let's see how that looks. Next, we're going to be smoothing the glass out so it's not sharp. Get some gloves on to protect your hands because the glass is sharp. Um, and then pick up the glass and angle it at about a 45 degree angle and put, it on your, put the edge on your sandpaper and then just go back and forth so that all the glass Get, get, get some shampoo. And do that with all four edges. You want to protect the glass from the screws a little bit. So take about a centimeter of captain tape and put it right on the corner of the glass and you want to make sure you do this for all four corners. You want to make sure that the glass and the hotbed are clean so and then you just flip the glass onto the heat bed and then cut about a five centimeter piece of tape for each corner. Put the middle of the tape right against the corner of the glass. Then, then flip it over. And make it nice and tight and nice and straight over to the other side. Do the same thing for the other three sides. <laughs> oh, so close. Oh, we are building the Pusha I3, which has a different, a little different Y carriage, but your Y carriage will have four holes in each corner. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this a little different than most people do it. We're gonna stick the screw up through that hole, and then put the nut on. Do that with all four holes. Just make a figure tight for now. We can tighten them later. Now we're gonna be installing the thermistor. Cut two pieces of wire insulation to it. Then carefully shred, thread the, the wire insulation onto the thermistor. It takes a little bit of time. Do the same with the other side. We're just going to take, tape this straight to the bottom of the heat bed. Make sure the leads are facing the same. Now 
We got this stuff at the hardware store. It's meant to insulate water pipes, but we're gonna use it to insulate the back of a hot bed. Too bad. Once you get to this point, lift up some whistle leads before you put the next layer of tape down. Before you finish it off, you need to figure out where the wires are going to go. In our case, they're going to go over to the right, to the electronics. And you, and you just want to get a little piece of tape to tape these down so when the hot bed is moving back and forth, it won't pull them out. Now we're gonna finish up, finish it off with one little piece of tape. Right like that. If you look at the corner, you see that the tape is covering hole. We want that hole to be exposed. So we're gonna cut away that little piece of tape. And the last corner. There we go. All you need to do is install the wires for you. The mister and your heater. And then flip it over and put that and put the heater on the screws you installed earlier. And then you're done. You've just installed your PCB hotbed for your 3D printer. Thanks for watching. But first, I would like to say, Ahoy at a cool alibare, a oslani kamaradi, vi, va, vi, ah!